Well, hello, my friends. This is Steve from Amateur Hour Gaming, and welcome to a short series update on Fantasy Calradia. I just wanted to take a minute or two and talk about uh, why there's been no Fantasy Calradia uh, in the last 10 days or so, and what's kind of happened in the game o over that time. So, uh, to begin with, let's see. Why was there no content? Well, as you, you may know from some comments I made in the first couple of issues, I, I was having a little trouble uh, recording this game from time to time. I would get uh, game crashes, uh, bad frame rates, uh, this kind of stuff. And uh, Mountain Blade, like the native game, has recently updated to version 1.161. My PC is about six years old. I don't know if uh, the one has anything to do with the other, but... I decided that it was high time that I upgraded my computer because I mean old Gordak here he deserves nothing but the best nothing but the best for his holy mission so you know new operating system new graphics card new power supply to drive that graphics card I even updated the version of Bandicam that I'm using and uh, all of that did in fact chew up a little bit of time I mean it's not as easy as just you know clicking update or screwing in a new part uh, you've got all the uh, all the attendant work that comes with it, right? You know, new drivers, new software, reinstalling certain things, yada, yada, yada. So that chewed up a bit of the time that I normally set aside for recording. But um, it didn't take up all of my time, and I would have uh, been able to record some content. But for whatever reason, even after the upgrades, when I tried to record, I tried uh, two or three times, I think. But I, again, still was getting uh, bad frame rates, I was still experiencing game crashes, and uh, in one case, I actually uh, experienced a total party kill, which I'll, I'll talk about a little bit later in this video, but the end result was that I basically started swearing my face off like, uh, like a trucker with a sore tooth, and I refused to publish that kind of content on this channel. Uh, I'm not a prude or particularly into censorship, it's just that, you know, my channel partner Dave has a seven-year-old kid who kind of watches what we do and I got a kid and I don't know there's enough people swearing on the internet I don't really want to be another one right so that's that's my viewpoint I'm not saying that I won't ever do mature content here on the channel but fantasy car radio and the stuff that I do normally I don't want to do that so uh, punchline is there was no content as you as you obviously uh, can tell however we should discuss what got done in the time that we had. Now, of course, the first and most obvious thing you can see right here on the screen, we picked up a new companion. This is Unela. She is one of two orc companions available in Fantasy Calradia. Uh, I found her in, in a tavern somewhere, and I am uh, quite excited about finding the other fellow, a guy named Frudak, I think. Uh, also, although he's not here anymore after, because I lost him after my party was wiped out, I did also recruit a guy named Traril. He's a, a drow male companion, uh, one of two drow available. And I figured since we're running a, a drow and orc party, uh, drow and orc companions would sort of be suitable. They'd suit the flavor. They'd go with our theme, you know, whatever. And, uh, you know, I thought it would be fun to have a few more customizable characters for us to watch, but also sort of for the gamey reason that I did it was that, you know, all Gordak contributes to the party is entertain, which is a personal skill. I have nobody that uh, does any kind of healing or anything else like that. Uh, no trading, no looting, no nothing. So it would be nice to actually have a few companions that I could put some party skills into. Like I'd like to get tactics and other things going on. So so as, as the series continues, we're going to continue to look for these companions. Hopefully find Traril and get him to rejoin our party. Because he's actually got a couple of nice pieces of armor on, which I've of course lost now that he's gone. But uh, that's sort of change one. We got a new companion. I've given her a couple of points in wound treatment, but uh, beyond that, she's still pretty much stock, so you will get to watch her uh, her experience. You'll notice she's now wearing Gordak's old, you know, serenade bard outfit. It suits her well enough for the moment. And Mr. Man here has uh, upgraded to some nice brigandine, which is some good uh, protection. And this, this bad boy right here, this is like a black shield that I looted from a party of balrogs and demons and stuff like that. Uh, they were actually... Uh, part and parcel of, of the TPK, but uh, I'm quite happy with that. Let's actually uh, take a minute and take a look at it. Uh, 800 HP, 25 resistance. It's a very good size. It's good looking. Uh, I couldn't resist. I know I'm trying to go for this bear warrior theme, but uh, I just couldn't. I couldn't pass it. I couldn't pass up on this. So, so that's a nice piece of kit. Like I say, new Brigandine armor. 
maybe upgraded his boots, I'm not sure. Uh, Gordak himself has dinged a couple of times. We're sitting around level 12 now, still 18 strength. I've been pushing his agility because I want to get his riding up. I'm going to try to push this to 12 and get his riding up to 4 because you may or may not have noticed from me spinning through my inventory that I got three wargs down here. Now, eventually her wound treatment will make this warg not lame. And I'm at the point that uh, agility is becoming important to me for Gordak because I want to be able to move quicker in this heavier armor when we're doing sieges and uh, I want the riding skill to actually be able to at least start a fight on a mount because while I do like uh, being a ground pounder, I'm having a lot of fun playing a, a character that doesn't just sit on his horse and shoot arrows and, and give everybody commands, uh, the advantage of being on a mount at the beginning of a fight can't be underrated. So that's kind of what we're doing with uh, with Gordak. Now in terms of uh, like the bigger the bigger picture has gone on. Oh, actually, I know an interesting way to show you this. Let's go to the marketplace. Over the course of uh, fighting, we've... Oh, bear warrior shield. Okay. I'm, I'm going to drool here for a second. Uh, a battered round shield. 115. All right, this should do the trick. Let's see. Boom. Yes, okay, so you can see, see now, we now have a banner. Why? Because we are a vassal. I decided after cashing in a quest with uh, Great Warlord Krothu that there was really uh, no point in continuing to be a mercenary. I know I said I was going to do that at the beginning of the series for as long as possible so that I could uh, do quests for the uh, NPCs and grind uh, reputation and stuff so they would vote for me when it came time to uh, distributing fights and stuff. Uh, however, I found I wasn't doing that, either on or off camera. I wasn't really taking advantage of the ability to do that. And, you know, Gordak is, you know, I'm out there. I'm killing for Grumps. I'm ending the dwarf plague. And I get nothing. Nothing. So he was not happy about that. And uh, he convinced me that it was time to become a vassal so he could keep what he killed, you know? And uh, I thought that was a good idea. Plus, he, you know, took out his big axe and, and threatened to, like, smash me and my computer if I didn't do it. So, so you know, you got to do what the man says, right? Why the dog? Well, I was in the mind of Sandor Clegane from the Song of Fire and Ice series, uh, better known perhaps as Game of Thrones. Those of you familiar with it will know that Clegane, like, like he's an evil man, okay? There, there's no doubting that Sandor Clegane is an evil, evil man. But he has his own code, right? He's kind of like lawful evil for, your, you know, you D&D geeks in terms of what alignment he might have. And I really thought that that was very much in the spirit of Gordak. I feel that that's what Gordak is. Like, Gordak is an evil man. I mean, look what we're doing here. I mean, we are raising an army of orcs and evil drow, and we are running across the map, you know, killing dwarves and raiding villages and probably, like, making babies cry and, like, pinching old ladies and God knows what else they're doing. But they're not nice people. So I thought that... Uh, that, that that sort of similarity between him and Sandra Clegane was uh, was kind of cool. I wanted to play that up a little bit. So thus, the Hound, right? And actually, that also inspired uh, something that I thought was very interesting. Uh, from this day forth, although I can't actually change the name of our party in Fantasy Cow Radio, because I don't think Diplomacy, uh, the Diplomacy mod, is installed as part of the, uh, the package of Fantasy Cow Radio, I have decided that from this day forward, we will now call our army the Dogs of Grumsh. That is who we are. We are Grumsh's war dogs. We're out there fighting the good fight, ripping the throats out of all of his enemies. So I thought that was that was very suitable. So Gordak and, and his dogs will uh, continue to spread Grumsh's influence across the map. Now, oh, actually, uh, let's just let's just sell that back to him. I don't actually want that. And uh, put the black shield back on. We'll take a real quick spin because I don't have a lot of money, but I would like to see if there's any bear warrior armor. Sad face, not yet. So, be that as it may, we really have just sort of one more thing to talk about at this point in the update. Party size 109, 109, so we're good there. Oh, we might as well level up a few guys. Raiders, mages, done. So, what I was doing when I experienced my TPK. Well, let us just see. If I can find it here. We got north. Yeah, there we go. This here is Crawl Castle. Now, when I first approached Crawl Castle, there were 180 
defenders in the garrison. I had about 92, 93 guys. I figured I could get a, a two to one kill rate, uh, preferably three to one. So I had an army left when I was done because they were mostly like tier one, tier two units, not too many uh, high level uh, elite sort of fighters or, or clerics or, or anything like that. Nothing terribly scary in there. And we fought them and we whittled them down to like 13 guys and we did it at like four frames a second. It was like super slow motion, totally ugly. And then Gordak got knocked out like he does in pretty much every fight. But I, I've, I've been thinking about maybe just retreating whenever he gets knocked out so that I would have something to do instead of making you guys watch me like push this after death cam around. Um, you know, so I did that. So I retreated. Um, and it dawned on me that I could actually just try and make them give up, right? Make them surrender. So I took the opportunity to talk to the castle commander and said, you know, your, your case is hopeless, uh, give up, right? And he said, no, we can hold these walls in, until we die of old age, right? And it occurred to me that while I probably still had 30 or 40 guys in my party, only nine of them were fit for battle. So I think that uh, the however the game calculates whether or not your persuasion check or whatever will go through, it probably only takes into account able-bodied fighters in your army so we were not successful so fine pfft, no big deal i figured let's wait until tomorrow we'll heal up we'll go in there and we'll wipe them out we'll wipe out the last 10 guys right well in the course of doing that guess what happened lugi or tracker is a dwarven vassal with 416 guys in his army and he's out patrolling around here somewhere he rolls right up on us and just absolutely toasts me I get, I spawn in with nine guys. He's got like 85, 90 guys on the field and you know, orcs don't retreat, right? That's, that's not what we do. So I charge my last three war slaves at him. I, uh, I set my mages up and you know, I killed four or five, six of them, uh, by myself until we were wiped out. They, they, uh, took my party, uh, completely stole one of my companions and I basically had to spend a bunch of time off screen like rebuilding my army it's it's worth noting that that was sort of the, that was the sweary event as well so a combination of really bad recording quality and just you know uh, poor character on my part uh, basically uh, motivated me not to not to publish that so uh, I think that's pretty much everything that's happened since uh, the last time you guys watched a full uh, fantasy coverage episode oh it's worth noting Durin Castle was not given to us Gordak is not pleased we're hoping that we'll get crawl <coughs> excuse me so that's pretty much what's been going on I want to thank you guys for sort of being patient uh, I do hope that uh, that if you've returned to watch the series that you'll forgive me for that small uh, absence of content. But we will. We'll be picking up right where we left off. Uh, you know, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we'll have videos coming out, 15, 20 minutes, that kind of thing. And uh, hopefully, we'll have a nice, smooth playing experience and we'll get to continue to progress. So, look forward to the beginning of next episode where we will conquer Crawl Castle, and it's probably still only 18 or 20 guys. And we'll see if we can end up getting a castle for, for uh, you know, Gordak to start spreading Grumsh's influence and uh, and actually start building up some income and uh, having a place to store troops and, and that kind of thing. So uh, I guess that's all that I have to say for now. So once again, my name is Steve from Amateur Hour Gaming. I want to thank you guys very much for checking out this short uh, series update and for continuing to be interested in Fantasy Cal Radio. You know, as usual, thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you don't, and please feel free to comment either way. Um, I look forward to spending more time with you guys in the near future and continuing to play Fantasy Cal Radio. If there's anything you want to see or you don't want to see, please, as always, feel free to let me know. But until we get back to this, my friends, you take good care.